morning guys um, I wanted to come in here this morning and um, do this short video um, about relationships uh, I've been talking to um, a few people who are beginning to have issues in their relationships as they begin to um, awaken as they uh, begin to even get on this uh, spiritual path and journey and uh, go further with that you know as they begin to um, seek higher truths as they begin to um, understand uh, deeper more deeply what I'm seeing uh, and hearing that's happening is that those that are around them especially those with a pretty much basic Christian mindset um, are having a hard time you know they're having a hard time uh, with those people they're having a hard time um, just in the day-to-day -day dealing with these people whether they're family and mostly this is what it is it's family husband wives relationships uh, children you know um, even those outside of the home um, now one thing we have to understand you can't stop your awakening you know you can't slow it down or alter it because you're just having beginning to have too much conflict with those with opposing views or those with these traditional beliefs those with these traditional understandings and so forth that uh, don't want to change, that don't want to understand you, hear you, listen to you, and even begin to try to research where you're even coming from. You know, uh, they just pretty much want to fight, they want to argue, and they want to stay where they are. Well, you know, you can't do anything about that. You have to uh, let them be. You live your life you continue to grow you continue to gain understanding and I mean you you do this for yourself and you just let them see your life you know what I'm saying I mean, there's there's a lot of times people uh, once you get on to a new path or new understanding or what have you you have people who will watch you and you have people who uh, will come to you with the with the with the intent or with the mindset that you know you're not going to stay on this and you're going to do it for a few months or whatever or you're going to uh, just kind of try it out or whatever but you're not going to do it so they watch you you know and once they um, watch you and see that you're you're really doing this you are this is who you are now um, like I said it begins to cause conflict you know a lot of them get angry a lot of them want to challenge you you know um, when I was beginning to enter uh, the first stages of my awakening and everything and once I began to kind of begin to kind of ground myself in uh, what I believed in you know I had people this this one incident uh, that I always remember because it bothered me so much um, it was a friend of my ex's girlfriend at the time and you know just me myself I'm a pretty you know I don't I'm not really a going to other people houses type person and everything if I'm in, invited sometime I might or whatever so anyway I think they were having some type of a football sports endeavor thing <laughs> you know serving food and all this kind of stuff and um, a lot of times I didn't go, you know, uh, unless there were other women, wives, girlfriends, or whatever there. Uh, and so um, um, I was told that this particular woman kind of wanted to meet me and get to know me and, you know, kind of wanted to understand my beliefs and understand, you know, some, some things. And so uh, it happened. I went. Uh, but the bottom line to it is that she wanted 
kind of two debates. She had opposing views, and she basically was still religious minded, and basically her uh, her point was that all the religions matter. You could be a Muslim, you could look into Buddhism, you could look into, uh, even though I don't really think Buddhism is a, is a religion, I, I don't look at that that way, but uh, you know, you could be Catholic, you could be um, whatever, you could be all of this and uh, still get to where you're going. Now, uh, at that time, I was like really, really new and I was actually into... I was on the spiritual, trying to get on the spiritual path, but I was kind of still locked up into something that I didn't realize at the time uh, was very detrimental. And I didn't get into that or choose that. My ex kind of, you know, he introduced that. Uh, so I reasoned with her and spoke with her on that level, you know. Um, and you know, like I say, bottom line, it, it wasn't a debate or anything, even though she kind of wanted to debate and, you know, tackle me on this and question me about this and everything. Um, it was really more of her kind of challenging my beliefs. Now, why you want to meet me like that? Why you want to, you know, first time you meet somebody, this is what you want to do? I have no idea, you know, because I, I think people's beliefs thoughts, ideas, all that are personal, you know, I don't, you know, I can see and know that a person is a Christian or a person who doesn't, uh, you know, I don't believe what they believe, I'm, I'm not, I don't have any desire to question them and, you know, try to uh, debate them and try to prove I'm right or whatever, I, I don't have any desire to do that, you know, I figure uh, when it's time, people are going to get on the correct path that they should be on. And hey, you let people live their lives because the thing of it is, is it's all a journey. You know what I'm saying? You could be a Christian today and four months from now, you know, you're hugging trees or something. So, I mean, it's just, you know, we're advancing and we're moving. And a lot of the old way is being uh, done away with. These traditional, like I say, Christian beliefs and thoughts and ideals and everything and just religious type of mindsets um, people are beginning to challenge those people are beginning to to look for more and go higher and deeper so um but yeah you know that that happened and um you know it it, it bothered me because it, it and this is the reason that it bothered me it bothered me because she she brought me over there to do that she didn't want to learn she didn't want to understand what i knew and she she wasn't looking the way it was presented to me was that she's looking for some guidance she wants you to kind of help her with whatever and that wasn't the case and so you know i feel like this is just me personally i feel like you wasted my time and bothered me when i could have been doing something else because i'm really looking to you know if somebody wants some help i'm gonna i'm gonna give them some help but you know that wasn't your uh that wasn't your intent you wanted to do a little debate thing which you know i'm i'm not you know i don't want to debate i don't want to debate you know and so um anyway you know i try my best to try to stay out of those type of um encounters you know um I'm so vastly different from, from where I was then, you know, and uh, so it would definitely be a whole different story now, today. But uh, yeah, you know, people will try to argue you down. They will try to come against what you believe, what you know, what you whatever. And for some reason, who you are, what you believe, what you're studying and everything, somehow challenges them somehow they feel I don't, I don't know they feel attacked or something I mean I don't know but this is something that I found as well you know your beliefs and who you are as a person comes up against and does something to them what they believe maybe maybe they realize what they especially in a religion uh, are doing is not beneficial but hey you know that I what I believe and what I do should not 
challenge you unless you're trying to go higher or st- I mean I, I don't know it's it's kind of strange because you know I do find that especially uh, with Christians and so forth they, it's, it's they start feeling some kind of way because I'm different you know what I'm saying uh, but uh, that's on them that's on them I'm, I'm not even especially with Christians I don't I don't talk to them I don't debate them I don't because there's nothing to debate because the foundation in my opinion of what they believe and feel and have placed their their lives in the hands of this religion uh, to me is hey it's that's on them I know that it's uh, false I know uh, you know that the the what they have put their faith in is not going to work last or be sustainable for them because I've been there done that uh, I've studied the scriptures I have you know um, I've studied theology I have uh, all kinds of you know I've done the whole facet of the studies of uh, Christianity and the beliefs and the religion and the, I mean I've done that you know what I'm saying um, in classes and on my own and I've done it for years so I know what I'm talking about I know uh, where I stand <laughs> and you know like I say they feel challenged but getting back to the relationships you know um, this can be a really hard time because you're as I say especially if you're the one that's enlightened and beginning to wake up you know it, it's it's an awesome and wonderful journey but at the same time it is something that uh, because you're going to want to share you know and it's going to be something that could possibly cause a lot of conflict in your life and your relationships and you know it, it can break up relationships I mean just straight up and down it can break up relationships um, and some of that's good and some of it's bad I know in my situation you know um, that wasn't the only reason but uh, you know me getting enlightened and going higher and whatever it caused dead weight I'm, I'm gonna call it dead weight to fall from me and it was good and it was great and it's awesome and it, it's getting better I mean it's, it's awesome because now I'm not held back now I can totally and completely soar without that dead weight on me you know what I'm saying and so uh, for me it's an awesome thing uh, for others who are more invested who are you know have things tied up with that other person and so forth you know it might be hard you know you may have children small children or whatever together that you know you're gonna have to deal with that you know homes cars all that I mean you know it, it gets very complicated but uh, bottom line is you know you have to make a decision on what's important for you are you gonna stop and be stagnant and stay in a relationship that you are not feeling anymore and that is it, it you know it, it's 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 one of two things and, and that's the bottom line either you're going to the relationship is going to end crash dissolve go your separate ways or you're going to be able to come together work together understand each other uh, have a mutual admiration for each other's beliefs if you can do that if it doesn't drive too part of a wedge between you um, and one of the other is going to take a side and hopefully if it's a long-term relationship if it's a good relationship a good solid marriage or what have you um, hopefully it'll be something that will bring you together even stronger you know I mean it's, it's nothing like meeting uh, or being with uh, an enlightened person just like you are and you, you all taking that journey together I mean it's, it's, it's awesome you know uh, but when, when it's opposing when, when, when one person doesn't want to change doesn't want to budge whatever um, it causes conflict and I'm even I'm even seeing long-term relationships I'm talking about in the teens to 20 years or whatever of relationships breaking up because you know that person who's waking up and becoming enlightened just can't you know I'm saying they just can't stay they just can't deal with 
this person who is refusing to change, this person who's just doing the same old humdrum that they've been doing and, you know, same old beliefs and whatever, you know, and it's just, it's becoming a problem, you know, and, and people are conflicted and relationship is conflicted and everything. So, you know, I just wanted to, you know, kind of get on here and let you guys know that, you know, that is something that is happening right now. Uh, as people are waking up and becoming more enlightened and, and going on to that journey, uh, ascending higher, relationships are breaking up. Relationships also, as I say, can become stronger. You know what I'm saying? If you, like I just said, if you have a strong foundational relationship with a person who is understanding, who will listen, who loves you and everything, you know, um, it can work. And it can be great, and it can be awesome, and that's what I would wish for anybody, you know. I mean, nobody wants to go through heartache and hurt and pain and everything, but at the same time, you know, you don't need to also stick and stay with dead weight. You don't want to stay with someone or, or remain in something because it's familiar, because, well, I've already been with them 25 years, so I might as well just, you know, that's, that's stagnating you, though. You know what I'm saying? That's stagnating you. So, um, you know, speak to the ancestors, speak to the universe, let them know your wants, your desires, your intentions, your heart, and everything, you know, and, you know, hopefully and prayerfully, relationships will go grow higher and stronger, but at the same time, I can guarantee you this, um, the universe will send you those people who you need to surround yourself with and the universe will send you a whole new person and partner that you all are on the same path same views same ideals same everything you know uh one of the things let me just throw this in here one of the things that uh is different now, as we begin to talk about the, the new 5D realm and where we're going and ascending higher is that, you know, we're not really so much in the same 3D realm of opposites attract and, you know, being with someone who's, you know, you all complement those things that the other don't have. I mean, that is kind of normal. That might just happen anyway. But now we're at a point, we're at a... A point to where you know we're looking for like you know you have like minds like ideas you know like uh, foods things like in common I mean you're you know th this is where we are now this is where we are now you want to find someone that you're on the same journey the same path with you know uh, and it's not all this opposing this and opposing that and whatever that that kind of stuff that type of uh, relationship is kind of beginning to not be able to work anymore and, and you know so you need to ask the universe to send those people new families <laughs> you know I mean I have really found a whole new family out here you know it wasn't you know it's not just uh, you know me by myself I'm understanding that you know there's so many people who believe like I do, understand like I do, men and women, you know, because it, it really can be a lonely, lonely uh, journey when you're on this path because you're questioning and you don't understand and this is new and you, you're, you're embracing and beginning to get into things that you've never had before and the things probably that you used to call people crazy, you know what I'm saying? I, I remember I, a tree hugger talking to trees, you know, I used to be like, yeah, okay, <laughs> that's a crazy person, you know, but I understand it now, I understand it now, you know what I'm saying, I'm not going to really get into that, but, you know, I'm, I'm beginning to get a fondness and a oneness with nature, and I'm, uh, you know, I have that love, and I have that understanding, and, you know, I understand that the trees, the plants, the earth, you know, it's alive. It's talking to us. We're, we're hearing from it all the time, you know. And so anyway, like I said, I'm not going to get into that. That's another video. But you guys, I want the best for you. I want uh, you to grow. I want you to um, 
keep reading, keep searching, keep, uh, you know, asking questions, you know, the universe has all the answers, and it's inside of you, you know what I'm saying, those answers that you're looking for are, are inside of you, just need to know how to begin to meditate and uh, read things, listen, open the third eye, bend your chakras and everything to get those answers, eat right, you know what I'm saying, drink plenty of water, you know what I'm saying, so uh, the answers are there, you know, and once you find them, I mean, it's, it's great and it's awesome, um, and uh, like I say, you know, you all keep growing, you know, because I want the best for everybody, you know, I just did my video about that, that uh, ranting on pettiness, you know, where people, you know, just hate, you know, they're just haters for no reason, you know, I'm, I'm not a hater, and I've never been a hater, I want people to be the best that they can be because I want to be the best that I can be and I want people to be happy for me you know what I'm saying so I'm going to be happy for you guys you know so you know I want you to have the best relationships the best families the best you know I mean so many people who are who are growing and, and becoming enlightened and understanding um or you know they want it for their children you know I just got um one of the people on my Facebook, uh, 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 an older man, actually, uh, kind of came to me. He felt, and I'm very honored, you know, he felt that I uh, had wisdom and so forth that I could kind of help him and lead him into things. So he's asked a few questions here and there, whatever. Uh, and I told him, you know, I, I shared a video with him. And I told him, you know, he told me that he wanted to learn more and gain more and understand more uh, because he wants to help his daughter. He has a little daughter. It looks like she's about seven or eight years old. Beautiful little girl. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm willing. I'm willing to help because, you know, his, his child is a star seed. And he needs to know how to nurture her and, you know, give out the best in her. Because she has it in her. I mean, she's a bombshell, and, you know, undiscovered. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I would hate to see her uh, hindered and uh, held down by religion and by religious teachings and religious belief. Because um, he told me, uh, actually, that his wife was, she still has a Christian mind, but he says she's not really in church anymore. And so, you know, he's trying to find a spiritual path. And so it's creating a little conflict, you know. And so, you know, it's just one person. You know, I'm, uh, there are other people <laughs> that I'm talking to and meeting who, you know, like I say, are having this problem. So I just want to encourage you guys to continue. Continue. Do not stagnate because of someone. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you guys stay cool. It has been so hot. You guys stay um, enlighten, keep learning, keep growing, keep gaining understanding. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for listening. And uh, to the next video, we'll see you next time.